What's going on guys? Welcome back. Today we're doing some Ferrari GT3 challenge. It's my first race in the Ferrari GT3 challenge. We're here at Mugello. We decided to qualify in this one because we're trying to do that more this season. We ended up qualifying P4 with a time of 151.687. Alex up there in the number 10 car ended up setting the pole position time of a 150.8. I actually had put in a better time on my second lap, but unfortunately an off track uh, took off about a half tenth the gain. I thought it really got me, but after looking at these times, I went to move to spot. So we're going to be starting here in P4, and as always, we're going to try and take advantage of positions if we can. But at the end of the day, we're just trying to be consistent, concise. We're really not trying to make any major mistakes, and we'll see where we can bring it home. We are the number two car here, so let's head to the grid. Let's see how we get on. All right, here we are on our formation lap. One to go to green. We're starting here in the second row, P4. We're going to be having the outside line down into turn one. And our one goal, as always, into turn one, not to murder, not to get murdered. And then from there, I think we'll be smooth sailing. The Ferrari GT3 has been by far, I think, one of the easier cars to drive. I think the traction control on it is really good, and the ABS is also really nice. And so I'm hoping that we'll get a decent result here. I've definitely felt like it's one of the easier cars to jump into and be able to drive relatively quickly uh, right off the jump. So, But at the same time, this is going to be the first race in the car. And uh, it's going to get interesting, to say the least. A 1.2K strength of field, so right on the money for us. It's going to get interesting, without a doubt. But let's head to the end of the lap right before we're about to go green. All right. Here we go, coming up to the final corner. Get this thing underway. Oh man, I'm, I always get man. The the formation lap really does a good job at uh, getting the getting the energy going. But here we go, final corner. Get ready, going green. The pace car is in. Green flag, green flag. Oh, what a jump! What an absolute send! I was so ready. I'm about to be three wide. You're in the middle, three wide. Hold your line, right side, two wide. Keep to the left. You're in the middle, three wide. Left side, two wide. Still there. Keep to the right. All right, there Clear. we go. He's off. He's off. Woo. Cold tires, cold tires, cold tires. All right. Cold tires. Stay on the left. Clear. Alright, not bad, not bad. We managed to survive, although it was touch and go there for a moment. Let's try and close this distance here if we can. What is this understeer? All right, the tire warming was not very good uh, on the formation lap, and the understeer through the final corner was absolutely insane. Keep to the right. You're now in third. Keep to the right. Clear, left side. Clear. All right, we managed to hold on to third. And honestly, we really didn't lose that much time. 
to the leaders. We are P2. Uh, we really gotta, we really gotta settle into the race here. Let's not ro royally mess up this final corner again. All right, guy. First, made a mistake. We might have. At least enough of a run to close the gap a little bit over the course of this straight. You're in second position right now. We gained about a two tenths ish. The next car's the leader. race of course it's only a 15 minute race you're in first let's go come on all right we try to carry a little bit too much speed there lost quite a bit of time if we're being honest feel like they're in a good operating window. We just gotta leave it there, you know? I've ever taken that corner in any series. Alright, not too shabby here. Another lap down. 
another move. Andrew behind. We've kept him at bay for now. With that said, we still have a long way to go in this race. We're just trying to uh, make it happen, as it were. definitely breaking very early for this complex but at the same time it makes me feel the most comfortable and so I am definitely not complaining at all about taking it at my speed the beauty about being uh, the beauty about being at the front is I control the pace not that I didn't control my own pace before but Okay, this car feels amazing through that uh, that long downhill right-hander. It feels awesome. And I think I like that line through the final corner as well. Kind of pushing it a little deep, but then getting a much better like straight line exit onto this straight. The way I was just kind of hugging it before, I think I was, uh, now I'm seeing just how much time I actually was losing through there, and it's incredible. Alright, I really gotta stop going over those sausage curbs, because they slow you way down. picked up the pace a little bit. That's not been the cleanest lap in the world. I accept this. Gotta keep it up. I do think I am better through that 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 corner than Andrew, so Alright, we are over half uh, two thirds of the way through this race. I almost said halfway. It is we're are two thirds of the way through this one. Potentially a couple more laps, three more laps maybe. Let's keep it focused. It's definitely not wrapped up yet. Thanks, Randolph. Go right. Well, we made that mistake that we were talking about. I was talking about staying off those parts of the curbs. Right side. Clear on the right. Well, that sucks. Absolute cheeks. There's nothing that feels worse than making that mistake right there. When literally all I had to do was just not do literally exactly that.
Andrew, you're welcome. That's 100% on me, and I hate the fact that I did it. We should get two laps left, unless this goes white. If this goes white, then I think that's about all she wrote, and I hate that. White flag, White nice flag. and smooth. Dang it, man. The leader uh, consider 52.185. There's nothing that feels worse than when you do it to yourself. Car 11 is now leading. ourselves so Mistake. You know you want to. Ah, uh, what a way to start the Ferrari GT3 challenge. Giving away a win two laps before the end. Feels sad, man. But, nonetheless, it is a P2. We kept our nose out of trouble outside of a one incident that cost us the win. That's unfortunate. That is There's the flag. It's over. Ah, it's frustrating. Good job. Very good job. Well, let's not beat around the bush too much. Let's head to the incidents. Let's see what happened that led to us finishing on the podium like we did. If this did anything that proved to me that we have a very high likelihood of having a lot of fun this season in the Ferrari GT3. And so let's head to the incidents and see what went on. So here we are at the race start. Let's see what happened. I got a great jump at the line, by the way, because the guy who was lined up in front of me just did not react quickly enough, but I did not feel comfortable being three wide here. And so I think I back out probably the earliest. I know I said we were gonna do incidents, but I'm kind of reviewing this. Yeah, that me and the guy on the inside kind of back out near the same time and just try and roll it through. But the guy who went wide didn't get the best run. And so we try and hold one around the outside, almost die immediately, but all right, let's, okay. Let's go back to the race start and actually see. I was just curious to see what this looked like because man, the beginning part of this race was chaotic for me and it was hard to keep track of what was going on uh, around me. So let's go ahead and let's check out some incidents now. Let's check out and see what we have here. This is the guy who we saw go off in front of us to put us up into P3. Uh, from here, it looks like we just have just some lack of awareness as uh, Brett gets pit maneuvered out here. What do we got here from Ryder is just, oh, Constantino effect guy spinning out ahead. That is 100% gonna do that, and that is unfortunate for him. Allen here, just a little too early on the gas, a little too tight line, and into the wall they go. Here's Alex, this was the guy who was in P1 who just gets up on the curb and loses it. And there you see us going by right there, and he comes back across, and I don't think he lasts too terribly long there, so that's unfortunate. Here we see Francisco get a little wide, so that actually gave us the race lead as of now. And so, man, this guy did not have a good time as, hold your brakes, guys. Hold your brakes. What are we talking about here, guys? Come on, we're better than this, guys. We're better than this. We are, I know we are, we're better than this. This corner got a lot of people. Spoiler alert, it gets me as well. Um, it's just really unfortunate. 
And uh, one thing I learned as the race went on, if you overcook the tires, you're going to see what happened to Ryder here, which is if you overcook the tires, it's so easy, with, especially with these off-camber turns, to just lose it. And uh, Gustavo here found the, uh, the, the bad end of the stick on this one. Here's Quentin getting up on those curves again. And uh, around you go, slow, the slow death is what hurts the most. And that, those sausage curves will get you every single time. 100% of the time. Randolph, the final corner here also definitely not easy at all. He gets spun around. Thankfully, gets off the racing line. Here we go down into T1. Oh, oh he did his... Okay, he did his best to avoid it. Is he going to be nice? Is he going to... No, he's going to try and hold the position. Oof. I don't know about that one, my guy. I don't know. Gustavo, do we just... Oh, he's blinking. Oh, Alex here not having a good time. Just lost it the whole way around. <laughs> Thankfully, nobody was coming through on the racing line. And that's it. My spin not included. But in the, in the, in the interest of fairness, let's find, let's find my spin. Because I think it's worth taking a look at. Because I could feel the wind coming and, I, and the moment got too big for me. I'll, I'll admit it. It's not too often that I find myself running at the front with a chance to win. And I let this one slip through my fingers. And so, uh, as we'll go on board here, the chase, let me, let me see where I, if I can find it here, it should be on this lap, but there it is, there it absolutely is, carrying a little too much speed, try and settle the car, turn a little too sharply, and that's all it takes, and I was livid at myself, and I still am, and now my rears are overcooked, and, uh, thankfully, this guy spin, almost spins out ahead of me, and so I was able to get back up into P2, and so we really were very close from a hero to absolute zero. But thankfully, it was just from hero to P2. So really unfortunate, but them's the ropes. If you can't do all the laps correctly, you're doomed to fail. But with the incidents done, let's go ahead and take a look at the final results. So taking a look here at our race results for the Ferrari GT3 Challenge at Mugello. We do go double green. It's been a fantastic start to Season 3 for me. We have been double green in almost every single session we've done so far. But in this one, we gain 0.05 safety rating, bringing us to exactly 2.5, heading in the right direction. And in terms of I rating, we actually gain 78 by finishing P2. We were in the third split with a strength of field of 1,214. And so I think we finished basically exactly where we needed to, to, to gain a good chunk of I rating. And so this was definitely a positive one here. Andrew Brooke takes the win, car number 11. I definitely let this one get away. I even had the fastest lap. This is definitely something that doesn't happen far all too often, but getting the fastest lap running at 150.850. The definitely the fastest lap I've ever driven here. But in terms of biggest winners here, Andrew definitely the biggest winner, gaining 94 I rating. And the biggest loser looks to be Brett down here, uh, who lost 92. So guys, the Ferrari GT3 Challenge, definitely a new favorite of mine. The car is super nice to drive. It's really easy to jump into and get to, get to speed relatively quickly. And yeah, it provides some very solid racing. And shout out Mugello too. It's definitely, this is the third uh, race series that I've done here. And this was definitely one of my favorites. But guys, that is gonna wrap it up for me here in this one. Subscribe below if you haven't already. Leave a comment below what you think of the Ferrari GT3 Challenge. Have you given it a shot? And have you even been thinking about it if not? As well, leave a thumbs up if you enjoyed the video. It really helps me out. But that's gonna wrap it up for me here, this guys. And I'll see you in the next one.